guys. Oh my god, King Crimson comes back over the top with another 100 subs. Rails with another 100 subs. What is even going on right now? Oh my god. Decent, right? He's getting some upgrades. He's got two very well mining bases. Maybe a little bit light on SCVs here. Oh no, you cannot go over this bridge. It's insane. If they attack move over this bridge, they'll just lose. Can't do it. The bridges make it super defendable. Dropped lurkers over here? Oh no, he dropped tons of... Oh! Vu just dropped tons of hydras in here and is morphing lurkers on the ramp so he can't get up. He's missing a million shots. Look how many shots he's missing. The eggs won't die. There's a thousand units at the bottom of the ramp. That's the Zerg stasis on ramp right there. Gonna get the hive? Oh, and after all the shit talk from Bide Sutosis too. All right, so they clear it, but that was an excellent drop from Boo. An excellent drop. And now look at this. Now that all the army was brought back, they're uh, coordinating a hit over here to kill this base. That's amazing. And now King Crimson and Angry Ardo coming out onto the map. <laughs> this is awesome. In the hive is really nice. Okay, so they'll kill this base, but these guys have enough units to kill this army. Unfortunate. Oh, but look at this! They're coming down and attacking from this side, bottom right, in trouble now! That is a sick army from King Crimson. He has a lot of size storm. They have siege tanks on the high ground. Oh my god. like allied lurkers underneath. Oh, now they're going Muta Carrier? Not what I was expecting. Forgot people were teamed, he says. <laughs> Poor Zesky. Gets held off. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Walking back through mines. Zesky. Oh! <laughs> no, Zesky wanted to lose those guys. The Marine Medic doesn't do anything anymore. He needs his BCs. But if these carriers attack him, he's just going to die, unfortunately. He doesn't have enough right now. Angry Ardo doesn't have that much left. Is there some way he can win? Like, if you steal enough carriers and then storm everything? Would that be the most insane comeback ever? All right, here we go. I can't believe this is how this is ending! <laughs> I cannot believe it. Okay, Starlight has an extra 100 minerals. Oh, his probe is underneath. It's underneath Angry Ardo's eBay. Oh, I'm getting chills. Is he gonna go all the way down? I think he is. I mean, why would you come over here if you're not gonna scan the entire bottom? Holy crap. He found it. And that's it. King Crimson and Angry Ardo gonna win. Oh my god! Oh my god! I have chills. That was amazing. What a finish. Christ. He's like, here's four cheeses in a row and a gimmick! On top! The cherry on top's a gimmick! Ha ha ha! I almost won! No, you didn't. It wasn't even close at any point. But I dived on your SCVs! Why would you have no words? I'm not a caveman. I don't speak in pictures. What the fuck is going on here? Alright, guys. I'm gonna try your, your fucking witchcraft. Oh, this is how bad he is! Look! 
This is why he won the game. Because he fucking sent his zealot there. So I didn't know it was coming. This is what 1800 play looks like, guys. This doesn't make sense at all. That was it. And look, he won. God damn it. Like, this is so stupid. This is such a waste of my time. Playing, like, I'm actually playing people that are so bad and doing things that so don't make sense that nothing works. Terran is a metagamed out fucking race, guys. This guy was terrible. He was terrible. It doesn't matter. In fact, it helps him to be terrible. His... God! Guys, it literally doesn't even make sense what he did. And he just kept making zealots and made a nexus. It's like, oh my god! Oh, it fucking hurts! I will not lose this game. Now that I just played this guy and I see what he is, which is the most disgusting thing. The only thing I have to watch out for is DT. That's it. That is the only way he can beat me. After after having played game one. Like, that game... I did a build that crushes Zealot Rush and Nexus first in close spawn. Sorry, guys. He didn't go Zealot. But he did go Nexus first. 